Well, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to buy a chainsaw, mostly because I found some logs. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to play with it a little bit and see what it's about. I saw a lot of reviews on people like torture testing it, so it may not be really useful to anyone, but I've never really had a chainsaw before, so we're going to see how this works. I also have a lot of really huge logs here. Um, so this is a 16 inch Makita XC U04. It takes two of their 18 volt battery packs. Um, the kit I got was actually a pretty good deal, which is why I decided to go down this route. Um, you ended up getting the chainsaw um, for the batteries, the five amp hour batteries um, for $400 at Home Depot. So I already have tools that use the batteries and of course, that's how they lock you in, so why not? So we're gonna give it a test and see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some oil in it and let's try and cut up some test logs and see how it goes. see here it looks pretty good um, I'm not super experienced with the chainsaw but from what I understand this type of cut is pretty hard because it has to pull all the material through each one all these lines you'll see how we get these like really stringy material that has to be pulled through each one of these every time the chain goes around so looks good so far so we're gonna move this big guy over here over onto the pallet See if we can cut some strips off of here that we can throw onto the bandsaw. This line we're gonna try and hit. We're gonna cut this in half because my tools are pretty much all designed for five to six inches, so I'm gonna cut this down into a smaller log. Um, we'll cut it down the middle and then we'll cut off the edges.
Take a quick break to get some water. It's still a little hot here, um, and I'm not a fan of the heat. So I figured let's talk about the saw a little bit. Um, some cool things about this. I I don't know if all chainsaws are like this um, or not, but the things I really like. Um, <laughs> point of contention: this power button. So if you leave if you leave uh, the saw alone for a second, it basically turns off. So it's designed to stop you from automatically turning it back on again. You have to turn it back on that way. Um, I kind of like that actually because, you know, anything that removes the chance of me accidentally turning something on is good for me. Um, what we can do real quick here is it automatically spins off after a couple seconds. So I'm going to squeeze the trigger, let go, and uh, it'll spin off. It'll turn down for just a, in just a second. So that's kind of nice. It stops pretty fast. I'm not, again, not sure if all chainsaws do that or not. Uh, the second one is the brake here. I'll show you. Stops the saw right away. Most chainsaws have brakes. I don't know if all electric chainsaws have brakes, but again, it works pretty good. Um, you have the fill port on the side here. You know, pretty standard. This is actually kind of a cool feature. Let me try that saw. Um, I saw that some of these didn't have the actual metal. It was just like kind of baked into the plastic. So this has been pretty nice cutting these logs. I can get it in there and really lever um, the blade through things. And obviously, you know, it takes two of these batteries. I have noticed, at least with the kind of sawing that I'm doing, these batteries get really, really hot. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> see, the thing about Makita batteries is they're internally protected, um, meaning that there's no electronics inside the actual tool that protects the battery if they get under voltage. So one thing that you kind of run the risk with these that I've seen in the past is they have a low voltage protection. And if you were in, let's say, a really cold climate, you run the saw until the batteries die, but they're super warm. Then they get cold, the voltage dips. And then the little computer inside here says that that voltage isn't a safe level anymore. And basically what happens is the control board locks. You have to replace the control board. And this is at least what I read online. Um, obviously, I live in the desert here, so if anything, they'll get warmer when they go to charge in the garage. But... Besides that, the battery life, these packs probably won't last as long because they're being run so hot. I might actually buy the six amp ones um, if those are bigger because they have more cells in them, which means less amperage per cell, which means you might get a better life out of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, so far this has been this has been amazing. Um, in terms of stuff getting uh, kicked up in there, it's not too bad. Um, this is really wet wood that I'm chewing through. And there's some spots in the back, but taking this cover off is actually so easy that um, I do it just to clean it. A um, little bit of air, compressed air, wipe it down when I'm done using it. It's been great. But um, let's see if I can wear out the end of these batteries and switch over to the other ones. So I squared up some more of these um, boards and then I also cut some into some smaller boards and stacked them up. Um, I ended up going through three sets of batteries. Um, from the timeline, it looks like they last about 20 minutes a pair. So again, probably going to get the 6 amp batteries if I end up keeping this off. But I did take off the cover. Um, and I did want to show you in terms of like the build up and stuff. Um, this is probably the most concerning part. I don't know if this was gonna keep going on, but it's it's pretty caked in there, and this whole area right here was just completely full. It didn't stop the saw or anything, but I, I can imagine that it's not not too efficient, because that's a lot, it's a lot of dust. <laughs> um, so, anyways, we'll see how it holds up, but I'm gonna just give it a quick dusting with uh, a brush and maybe the air compressor real quick to clean it off. Again, those batteries, extremely hot, almost, too hot to touch, which uh, makes me wonder how long they're actually going to last. But I'll probably look up the specs of them at some point. I know people have done some teardown videos and see what they're rated at, but batteries do not like heat. So I guess my final impressions of the saw, um, we can go over here in just a second. Let me just clean this up first. So I guess at the end of the day, who is the saw for? Um, 
Well, for me, I'm a weekend woodworker. Um, I don't really go camping. Um, we live in the city. Um, I do have trees in the backyard. A lot of times I had to cut through them with a jigsaw or something. This is gonna make that wonderful to clean up. Uh, tree clippings, They're, it's gonna cut through it in a second. Um, price cost me just as much as um, cheaper 16 inch gas chainsaw that I don't use anymore. Um, and getting to that point is because every time I get it out I have to, basically I feel like I have to troubleshoot it. Um, I'm always having to clean it out or work on it in some way. This, I've used it a couple days in a row now and it's just been pleasant to work with. It just works um, and I think that's the critical part. What you're giving up is the ability to have you know, hours of runtime, that's something you need. You're probably going to have to go gas unless you're going to spend, you know, $1,000 in batteries <laughs> to just like be constantly ready to go. But for me, I do short bursts um, and having these logs that I got for free here is kind of a one off. And so it allows me to work in some short bursts, get some work done, clean some things up. Um, it's extremely portable too. I don't have to worry about carrying gas around or something like that. Um, it uses the batteries that are already in some of my existing tools so I can pack all that stuff up, um, go over to someone's house, help them cut something down. You know, I wish they did make a bigger version of this, um, especially with their 48 volt line coming out. It would be really nice to see two 48 volts, um, see a 96 volt chainsaw, maybe 20 inch bar. That would be really, really cool to see, I think. Um, but for what this does, it's great. Um, is it at a professional level? Probably not. Batteries and the power that these things take is just not there in my opinion if you need a long running tool. But 20 minute bursts are great for me. It's able to cut through stuff. Um, just wonderful. Like I haven't had to do anything. It just works, which I think is the powerful thing about this, right? It just works. So um, for what it's designed for, 10 out of 10. I love it. No complaints at all. So if you guys have questions or want me to test anything with the saw, just let me know. I'll be happy to upload another video talking about it or doing anything that you guys want me to try within reason. <laughs> like I said, I don't go camping or anything like that, but I do have some logs um, that I'm going to be cutting up. So there's some of the bigger ones. and You can see down there just some smaller cuttings. The um, person I got these logs from have another stump that's probably about four or five times that big. Um, and I just don't have any way to load it. And to that point, I would feel kind of bad trying to take this saw here, there to help them cut it up so I could haul it away because I know I'd have to make a couple trips with the batteries that I have today. So um, that is a limitation of this saw. But anyways, thanks guys. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to someone. I know it satisfied my curiosity to have to just buy one. But um, thank you for watching, guys.